Hello and welcome to Biocode. In this video, we are going to have thorough discussion about cellular heterogeneity and what role it plays in cancer development, cancer progression, cancer metastasis, and what does it exactly mean for single cell RNA sequencing. So, what is cellular heterogeneity? In the previous video, we talked about some, some sort of cellular heterogeneity in terms of gene expression pattern, but in, in this video specifically, we are going to deep dive further. So, let's define cellular heterogeneity. Cellular cell heterogeneity refers to or it means cell to cell differences based on gene expression. Each cell has a different, normally, uh, when I am talking about cell expression, I am talking about normally usually. So, in a normal individual, each cell has a different expression pattern as compared to the other cell. The cell that is present right next to it may might have a different expression pattern based on the requirements, based on the, its function, etc. For example, B cell has a different gene expression pattern as compared to the T cell. And that is what it makes the B cell, B cell and the T cell, T cell, right? So the cell, cell to cell differences within each tumor mass that is caused by constant mutations starting from the first cell is known as cellular heterogeneity. Okay, I will rephrase it again in more easier terms. So normally, as I said, as I gave example about the immune cells, so in normal conditions, each cell might have a different gene expression pattern, right? In a disease state, especially in the tumor, each cell will have a drastically different expression pattern as compared to the cell that is present right next to it. For example, consider, cons consider an example of this figure over here that we have added. Consider that this is one single protein, uh, single cell that gained a gatekeeper mutation that we mentioned over here that gained the initial mutation that started the process of cancer. All the other cells are normal cells, but this one has is a has a mutation and is a cancer cell basically. Over time, what would happen is that it has developed various different cells that are tumor population now that are colored. And the purple one has started developing, which is a new further cell that is that has a progeny from the tumor population one. So now tumor population two, which is purple color, is now developing further at this stage and now at this stage. So by the end of this, at this particular stage, imagine that we take this single tissue out and we do biopsy and we analyze, analyze this particular tissue. What we can understand from there is that at one given moment on this single location, there are four different types of cell, population three, population two, population one, and normal healthy cell. So this is what I mean cellular heterogeneity. This is what I mean when the gene expression pattern are different for each population, they are expressing different set of genes at different given moment based on their requirements and based on the environment around that tumor which is which is called tumor micro environment cellular heterogeneity can be caused due to genetic variation mixture of different cell types including normal cells trans differentiation this leads to cellular and cancer heterogeneity and this is what it means when we talk about sub cell subpopulation analysis cell subpopulations due to a disease so let's reiterate everything again Normally talking about, when we normally talk about cells, each cell can have, might have different gene expression pattern. In a disease, once the disease matures over time, even if it is not, if it is not matured yet, it is going to have various different populations of cells that are expression, that have expression values that is different from other ones. This is known as heterogeneity. How cellular heterogeneity occurs? Individual cells of heterogeneous tu tumor cell population leave the primary tumor and invade remote regions, which is known as metastatic lesions. However, a constant level of mutation in the metastatic lesion bring about genetic heterogeneity. As I said earlier, gen genetic expression pattern basically governs what the cell population might look like. These cellular heterogeneity could be due to mutations as well, not just a gene expression pattern. So these mutations are known as hallmarks of treatment resistance, 
therefore it is imperative to characterize these driving forces of cellular heterogeneity we need to understand what is driving the cellular heterogeneity what is giving rise to these four different types of populations at one single given location we need to understand the gene expression profile of each of these cells and this is where single cell rna sequencing helps us so cellular heterogeneity what why cellular heterogeneity why exactly we do we need to care about cellular heterogeneity so during covid-19 pandemic you might have seen that various different patients express various different symptoms that would mean that they are they might be giving a different response to the virus or the viral infection some were able to some were not able to express any symptoms as well they were known as asymptomatic some had mild some moderate some severe and some were critical all of that due to different cellular heterogeneity different immune response it is necessary to identify cellular heterogeneity on a single cell basis for optimal determination of disease severity so what is the significance of